Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be teaching you how to build a website with Bluehost. Now this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial guide with no steps skipped. And if you've never made a website before, that's totally fine. You're not going to need any design skills because there's no web coding or anything complicated like that involved. I keep everything as simple as I can so as long as you have access to the internet, you can do this guide. And like I said, it's going to be step by step so I'm going to be walking you through the entire process. We're also going to be building the site on the free website building platform called WordPress which literally has thousands of free templates to pick from so whatever type of website you want to create there's going to be a template available to fit your needs and you can change them anytime you want to something different with just a click of a button. But before we get started I just want to go over a couple of things like the cost involved and then how long the process is going to take on average and then after I get through all that stuff we can start building the actual website with Bluehost. Okay so the first thing I want to go over with you is the pricing. So what are the costs involved with building a website with Bluehost? There's only going to be one fee through this entire process and that's going to be for the website hosting. Which if you use my discounted link below in the description your cost will only be $2.95 a month. Everything else is free. Now if you don't know what website hosting is, it's basically where all your content on your website is going to be stored at. Another way I like to describe what website hosting is to people is like this. Say you're going to build a house somewhere. First you would need the land to put the house on. It's the same thing with a website. You're going to need somewhere to put your website. So if you think about your website as your house and then the hosting as your land, it's pretty much the same thing. And then when you hear domain name, that's just the name of your website. So like YouTube.com, Facebook.com, those are examples of domain names. Now some website hosting providers may charge you a fee for a domain, but Bluehost includes one for free. So like I said, the only fee through this entire process will be for the website hosting. Everything else like the website templates and anything else in this guide is all free. So if that sounds good to you guys, stick with me for a little bit and I'll show you how to get a website up in less than an hour. Okay, so that's going to bring us to the first step, which is going to be to get our website hosting. So what you're going to want to do is click the link in the description below this video and that's going to apply the discount and then bring you to this page. And then from here we're just going to click on this green get started button. And that's going to bring us to the hosting selection page where you can choose any of these packages that you want. But for this example, we're just going to go with the basic $3.95 a month package. And then in a little bit here too, I'm going to show you how we're going to get this for actually $2.95 a month instead of $3.95 a month. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to pick our domain name. And if you guys aren't sure what to name your website, here's a couple of tips that may help. And then once you find the domain name that you want to use, you can just type it in and then click next and that's going to show you if it's available or not. Sometimes stuff isn't available so you have to come up with a different name. And once it is available, you just click on this next button here. And then once we get to this next page, you can see up at the top that the domain name is available. So we're just going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this info here for the payment section. And then after you scroll down a little bit, you're going to also see the account plan again. And mine's still selected on the basic 36 month price for $3.95 a month. And then once you get to the package extras, really you don't have to select any of these if you don't want to. But just for privacy reasons, I'm going to select the domain privacy plus protection. But again, none of these package extras are going to be required to have to finish the rest of this guide. So even if you leave them all blank, that's totally fine. And now the trick to getting the hosting even a little bit cheaper is to go up and basically pretend like you're going to close the page without actually closing the page. So if you're on a desktop computer, just go up and hover the mouse over the X and pretend like you're going to close the page. And once you do that, you're going to see a special sign up offer pop up and it's going to offer you the hosting for just $265 a month. And all you have to do to get that is click on the green claim savings button. And once that savings is applied, you'll see as long as you have no package extra selected, your savings is going to be $192.24, making your total $95.40 for three years of hosting, which is a great deal. Okay, and then after that, I'm just going to scroll down here to the payment information and put that in. And like I would mentioned before, this stuff is just going to be blurred out for privacy reasons, obviously. 
And then the last thing you got to do is just check the terms of service box. And then after that, just click on the green submit button. All right, then we're just going to land on the receipt page so you can see what your total is for your website hosting. Depending on your package that you chose, you're going to see uh, possibly a different number, possibly a higher number or a lower number than the one you see here. And then after that, you can just go back up and click on the blue create account button. And then once we get here, all you're going to have to do is have your domain name entered and then you're just going to have to create a password and then make sure you make note of that password too, because you're going to need it to log into your account. And then after that, after you check the terms of service box, you can just click on the blue create account button. All right. And now our account is ready to go and just click on the blue go to login button. And then you're going to enter your domain name and then the password that you created and then just click on login. And then once you get to this point, we're going to set all this stuff up later inside WordPress. So you can just go down here to the bottom and just click on skip for now. And then once you do that, it's just going to install WordPress for us. And that's only going to take a couple seconds, maybe a couple minutes tops. Okay. And then once that's installed, you're going to land on your Bluehost dashboard and now you've successfully set up your website. Now all we got to do is set up a couple more things and build our site. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to the left side here and click on my sites. And then once you do that, all you have to do is hover your mouse over your website right there and then click on log into WordPress. And then after you click that, you're just going to see a couple pages here. And once those are finished loading, we're going to end up on our WordPress dashboard. And this is going to be the page that you see every time you log into your WordPress site. This is going to be where you add all your content and where you edit your content, which also includes choosing the look of your website, among a lot of other things too, which we'll get into. But before we get into any of that stuff, we just need to do a few more things before we can get started. So what we're going to do is go back over to the Bluehost section and then on the left side where it says domains, we're just going to click on that button. And then once you get to that page right there in the middle, just click on the contact button and that will bring us to this page. So from here, what we need to do is verify our email. So if you haven't gotten an email from Bluehost already, you can just click on this blue resend verification email button. And then after that, you can go to your email account that you registered Bluehost with and then find the email that should look like this. And then once you see it, you can just click on the green verify your email button. And then once you click that button, it's going to send you to this who is verification page, just confirming that you verified your contact information. Okay. And after that, we're just going to go back over to the left side here and click on my sites. And then we're going to click on the manage site button. And that's going to take us back to our WordPress dashboard where you're going to see it says coming soon active. This basically means that your site isn't active yet until you click the blue launch your site button. So you can go ahead and click that button. Okay. So our site is officially live and now we're going to start building the actual website. So we'll start building now and I already have the site set up. So what I'm going to do is just go back and show you guys how I did everything step by step. And if you want to see a live version of this website, you can just go to setupwptheme.com. And I'll show you real quick what the site looks like. And then after that, we'll go back through. And like I said, I'll show you how it's all set up. So this is what the website will look like if you decide to go with this particular theme. So what we're going to do first is install our theme and then I'll show you how to make your first post, how to add a featured image, change your website name and all that good stuff. But first we're going to go back to our WordPress dashboard and install our WordPress website theme. So we're just going to go up here to the top and then click on dashboard. Then once we get here, we're just going to go over to appearance and then click on themes. 
and this is where you're going to go whenever you want to change the theme of your website or the look of your website. Now when you get here, it's going to be pretty blank. You're seeing all these different themes because I was just testing them out, so don't let that confuse you. All we're going to do is just head up here and click on Add New. And like I had mentioned to you too before in the video, WordPress literally has thousands and thousands of different themes to pick from. So here's a bunch of them. You can just scroll through and see what you like. If you guys have any specific features that you're looking for, you can go over here to the feature filter and they have a ton of different stuff that you can click if you're looking for a specific layout. But what we're going to do is go and look for the theme called Magnitude. And as you can see, it's already installed for me. But what you guys are going to need to do is just click on this button right here. It'll say install. And then after that, you can just click on activate. And then once you go back to your themes, you will see that it's the one that's activated right here. And the other themes that were referenced to in this video were the Blossom Travel theme and then also the meditation and yoga theme. But again, like I said, if you guys don't like any of these themes, you can just go back over here to add new theme and you can search through, like I said, thousands of free WordPress themes that WordPress has to offer. And you just do the same thing every time. If you want to see what something looks like, you can just click on install and then activate. And you just do the same thing every time you want to test out a theme. You just go on install and then you click activate. And that's going to bring us to the next step, which is to edit our site name and tagline. So what we're going to do is just go over here to settings and then click on general. All right. And then once we get here, you can just add your title in for whatever you want your website to be called. And then below here is the tagline. And like they say, in a few words, just explain what your website is about. And then after we do that, what we're going to do is go and change our link settings. So basically, we're going to get rid of this date right here. So it's just going to be our website slash whatever the post name is. And that's just going to help clean up the look of our links a little bit. So what we're going to do is go over here to permalinks and just click on that. And that's under settings. And then once we get here, you'll see it's under day and name. You just need to switch that to post name. And then once you do that, you can scroll down here and click on Save Changes. And then if I go back to that post, you'll see up here in the link, now it's just our website slash whatever the post name is. And like I said, that just helps clean it up a little bit. Now after that, we can go back to our dashboard. And now the next thing we're going to do is start adding some content to our website. And so the first thing we're going to need to do is go over here and click on Posts. Okay, and when you guys get here, yours will all be blank. These are just 10 different posts that I've added. And now I'm just going to show you guys everything you need to know to put up your own post. Okay, and this is what a normal post is going to look like. You're going to have your title right here and then some text. And then here's a uh, widget gallery that I'll show you how to set up too. This is a table that you guys can set up. And also this is a cover. It's another widget that I'll show you guys how to set up. Here's a button. I'm also going to show you how to embed a YouTube video if you want to do that. But when you first go to make a new post, this is what it's going to look like. It's just going to be completely blank, blank title, no content, nothing like that. But I'm just going to go back over here to this post here. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is just create a title for your post. So whatever it is that you're writing about, just give a title to it. And then after that, if you just want to add more content to it, you just click on this plus button. You'll see these all over here. You just click on the plus button and then say you just want to add some text. You would just click on paragraph and then set up a whole new thing where you can type stuff. And if you guys want to bold or center your text, actually, I'm going to delete this. So basically, if you guys want to get rid of a blank block that's right here, you can just click on backspace and that'll get rid of it. And if you guys want to make your text bold, all you do here is select what you want. Click on this B button to bold it, unclick it to not bold it. If you want to take your text right here and you want to center it, you can just go here and click on align text center. 
and that'll center for you. If you want to add a link to a certain piece of text, like, like for example, Love Yoga, you just click on this button, Link, and then you would go and take, say for example, this site, or this page rather, click on that, copy the link, and go back here, paste it in, and just click on this button right here, Apply, and right there is your link. And if you want to unlink it, you simply just click on it, and then click on this that same button, click on Unlink, and that'll get rid of it. Now say you guys want to upload an image, you can just go here and click on this plus button. You'll see they got a bunch of different stuff right here. If you go into here to the common blocks, click on image, click on this upload button, then you just select what picture you want, and then right there is your image. You can change the size over here. By clicking on this, you can change it large, medium, make it smaller. Again, same thing with the text. If you want to center it, go like that. Full size. If you don't want it anymore, just click on the image and then click the backspace button or the delete button and then simply get rid of it. And then say you guys want to make your image clickable so that if somebody clicks on it, it's going to send them to a link. You just do the same thing that you do with the text up here. You just click on the photo, then you click on the link button, then you add your link, and then anytime somebody clicks on your photo, it'll send them to whatever the link is that you want them to go to. And also I wanted to mention this too. This is called the spacer right here. And basically it just allows you to put in space depending on how much you want height and pixels 25 you can switch it to 50 it shows up gray right here but it's actually blank when you go and look at it at, on your post and it's just a good way to clean things up on your post to give some space if you need it and again the way you find that is just by going to this plus button right here type in spacer like that and then click on here then you can just adjust the height of it right there and again if you want to get rid of it just click on it and then hit the backspace button and it's gone okay and the way i made this gallery right here is pretty simple all you do is go over here add that plus button again then you click on gallery and basically you just go and select all the photos you want no matter how many you want to do it'll just put all the images that you selected in a little collage just like this and the way you make a table like this right here is just hit this add block. You can search for table. And then you decide on how many columns you want, how many rows. Like this is two and two right here. So if I create it again, it's going to be the same thing. You guys can add text in right here. And you can even take that text and then you can have it linked to something else if you wanted to. And then down here, the cover, if you want to make a cover, same thing. You just go over here. There's a cover right there, or you can search for it. And then basically, you're just going to upload an image and select it. And then it's just going to allow you to put some text in front of that image. And then if you guys want to go and make your own button right here, all you do is the same thing. Click on this. There it is, button. You can type in whatever you want right here, and then you can also go over here. You can adjust the color of it. You can adjust the text of it. If you go like this, you'll see it makes it round. See it goes to square, little in between. And then you can put your URL here, so anytime somebody clicks on that button, it's going to send them to wherever that URL is. And then I'll show you how to embed a YouTube video. This is good because... If you're a little low on content, you can just throw a YouTube video up here and it just helps fill out your post a little bit. So all you got to do is go to the YouTube video that you want and then copy the link. Then go back, click on this plus button, scroll down, actually type in YouTube. There it is, you just click on that and you just simply paste the link in here and then click on embed. And it's as simple as that. And you can take it and click on the video here. You can center it if you want. And that's how you put a YouTube video inside your post. 
And now what we're going to do is come over here to the right side. I'll show you how to add your own categories in. So whatever your website is about, you're going to want to try to break it down into some categories like I have since this is like a yoga type website. I have the categories improve posture, flexibility, health, poses, and then whatever the post is that I'm writing about, I'm just going to put it into the category that makes sense. So to add a new category, all you do is click on this add new category button and then type in the category that you want and then click on add new category. And now what we're going to do next is just go down here to the tag section. This is basically where you're going to put the keywords for each post you have. So for example, this post is called Top Yoga Poses for Beginners. So I'm just going to go and type that in right here. And then I'm going to put a comma. And that's going to add that tag for this post. And basically the reason for this is just to show what this post is about. It tells search engines like Google what your post is about. And then after that, we're going to go and add a featured image. And what that is, is basically this image that you see right here. And also all these images right here for the post, these are your featured images. So these are going to be the images that show up on your website right here. And to do that, all you're going to need to do is, I'm just going to remove this real quick. You're just going to click on set featured image. Then you're going to go over here to upload files. And then click on select files. Then once you find the image you want, just like uploading a photo to your post, you just select it. Then once it's finished uploading right there, you just go down here and click on Set Featured Image. And there's your featured image right there. And again, anytime you want to remove it or replace it, you can just hit the Replace button and then select a different image. And that'll change the featured image for you. Also something else too that I wanted to show you guys real quick is that say you're making a post and you know maybe it's taken a while to put together or it's longer than you thought. All you have to do is if you don't want to publish it actually yet, you can just go and click on, once you have at least your title, you can just go and click on save draft. And then once you go back to your post, you'll see that that post right here is here, but it's under draft mode. That means it hasn't been posted yet. So it's basically just a good way to save your post if you haven't finished the entire thing yet. So if I click on it, you'll see again that it hasn't been published yet. So this way you can just keep editing your post and then saving it as a draft until you get to the point where you feel like it's good enough to actually be published. And then once you're ready to actually publish a post, all you do is come up here and click on publish. And then it's going to ask you if you're ready to publish again. And you just click on this publish button. And now that post is live, but until you click publish, it won't be live and it won't show up in your website. But I'll also show you guys something else too. Since that was just an example, I'm going to get rid of that post. So if you guys ever want to get rid of a post, you just go over to the post section here. And then you select which post you want to get rid of. And you can either click on trash or you can just go over here and click on move to trash. And then click apply. And then that'll get rid of the post for you. And then all those posts that you deleted will be in the trash can. They're not actually permanently deleted yet. You could still go back and you can restore them if you want to. Or if you want to get rid of them for good, you can just click on delete permanently and then click apply and they'll be gone forever. Okay, and that's basically everything you're going to need to know as far as making a post goes. So now I'm going to show you how to set up the menu section right here. So we're just going to go back to the dashboard here. Then we're going to come over to Appearance, and then we're going to click on Menus. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go and take some of those categories that we made, and we're going to put them on our top menu of our website. That way if people go and click on those categories in the menu, for example, Flexibility, they're going to see every post that you have under that specific category. So again, after you made a few categories like we did during the post section, all you need to do is go down here to where it says categories and select the ones that you want to show up on the top menu here. So once you select them, you can click on add to menu and then you'll see all those categories right here have been added and then make sure this primary menu selection is checked 
And then after you do that, just click on Save Menu. And now if we go back to the home page, you're going to see that these right here, three categories, have been added. And there they are right there. So again, if you go and click on one of these, it's going to show you all the posts that you put in those categories. Another thing I wanted to mention to you guys too real quick is that if you guys need free stock images to use, you can just go to this site here called Pexels.com and you can just type in whatever you want and they literally have thousands of free images that you can use. So if I just come up here to the search and click on yoga and search for yoga, you'll see that there's tons of free images here to use. And then if you click on those images, you just go here and you can click on free download or if you want a specific size, you can click it like that large, medium, small. And if you have a certain size that you want it to be, you can just type that in and then click on free download. And then something else too here that I wanted to mention is if you want to customize like the colors and some of the other things like that, all you have to do is come up here to customize. And what I'd recommend is just kind of going through these things, not clicking on anything at first or changing anything, just kind of going through and seeing all the different stuff that you can do. For example, like if you want to switch this and add a site logo instead, you can click on that and then you can find an image. If you look right here, it says suggested image dimensions, 150 by 150 pixels. And like I was saying for this free stock images site, pexels.com, you can go here and you can click on custom size and you could put in 150 by 150 and it'll give you an image that's that size exactly. Now if we go back, you'll see some other stuff here like uh, the site title. You can change the tagline and the color if you want. See so if you do that, you can switch the color. And then if we go back, there's other stuff too like the colors, background color. If you want to switch it up and change that a little bit, maybe make it a little gray just to offset it, you can do that. And anytime you do something like that, that you change, all you have to do is go up here and click on publish and that'll save the changes for you. Also too, if you want to edit, for example, like the header image, which is right here, all you do is find it, uh, an image that's 1500 by 400 pixels. Same thing. If you find an image here, you can go and put those exact custom dimensions in and then click on free download. And then you'll have a header that's going to fit actually. Same thing for a background image, like if you don't want this gray here or the white, you can just change it and you can put an image there instead. And also if you go down to theme options, you'll see that there's a uh, header options. It says show date on header, you can get rid of that if you want to. Like for example, if you don't want that to be up there, you can just get rid of it. And then also if you want to go and edit the footer, for example, is just down here you'll see this is right there if you want to switch that up you can do that but like I said go through this stuff and just check it out you don't even have to click on anything just go through and just kind of browse and and decide if that's something that maybe you want to do or maybe you don't want to do and you just want to check it out and then to get out of here all you do is just click on this X and then it'll just send you back to your home page so what you guys should do now is focus on trying to get up maybe five or ten different posts for your website and that'll just help fill everything out for you. And this is what I'd recommend too is getting like I said five to ten posts up and then you can go and change the website theme if you want to and maybe see if there's a look that you'd rather go with versus this one. But that's going to do it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully with the knowledge that you have now you can go and put out some of your own content and get your website rolling. Remember, don't get overwhelmed with all this stuff. Just take one thing at a time, keep chipping away, and before you know it, you'll have a website full of content. Also, I'll include some links to articles on ways to make money with your website too in the description below this video. And again, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.